This video covers wiring up a third gen wiper motor manually. This allows the wipers to function on low speed and park all off a single toggle switch. A lot of full race third gens oftentimes don't have the factory steering column, so we don't have a wiper switch. So this is the wiring schematic. Overall, the wiring is fairly simple. It has a ground wire, 12 volt power, a jumper wire between both plugs, and a toggle switch. My brother tested and made this wiring for me, so now all I have to do is replace these cheap wires with good quality ones. I'll start with the ground wire. It's fairly short and will ground to my driver's side cylinder head. A female terminal is crimped on. This is a Metripak 280. The wire gets sleeving and then a 3 8 ring terminal to connect to my cylinder head. And now it's time for the wire that connects both plugs together. To connect each plug, it takes a wire with two female terminals. The wire gets sleeving and adhesive lined heat shrink and it's ready to go. Now comes the 12 volt supply wire. I'll be routing this wire through my custom firewall grommet. This may differ depending on what your car is set up for. So this terminal has two 18 gauge wires attached to it. One of the wires is 12 volt power and the other wire runs to the toggle switch. To connect these wires together, I simply crimp them on a single terminal. The overall wire length is going to depend on where you put your toggle switch. The last wire is the second plug on the toggle switch. It has a female Metripak 280 female plug and a female one quarter inch blade terminal. Now the new wires will be installed, replacing these mock-up wires. I'll start off with the ground wire. And the next wire connects both of the plugs together.
To de-pin the metric pack, a little pin tool is used. Poke and twist, and the terminal comes out. Now the bridge wire can be installed. The second toggle switch wire is installed, and as always, I label every wire. And now the final wire is installed. This is the double wire that connects to 12 volt source and the toggle switch. Since I have some unused terminal holes, these plugs are installed to avoid water getting in. The last bit is installing these terminal assurance clips. Now I can install this on my car. The 6-pin and 3-pin are plugged into the factory wiper motor. Two terminals for the toggle switch. One terminal for the 12-volt source. And one ground wire. I don't have a battery connected to my car, so this rectifier takes its place. Some water on the windshield keeps the motor from working too hard. And bam, we have wipers that work on low and park off of a single toggle switch. As a review, this is the wiring diagram that I used. I hope this was clear, it's always very difficult to explain wiring in videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting me on Patreon. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram.